Hi, welcome back. Today we're going to read Chapter 2 of The Kidnapped King by Ron Roy. Chapter 2. Dink went back to school and handed a note to Miss Engel. Since school was almost out, Mr. Dillon had given him permission to leave early. Dink filled his book bag and whispered what was going on to Josh and Ruth Rose. Dink's mother drove him and Sammy home to Woody Street. Sammy was quiet in the car. He kept turning around and looking out the rear window. Miss Clinker said she'd bring your luggage over in a little while. Dink's mother told Sammy, Dink, will you? Dink will help you get settled in. Then I'll make you both a snack. Thank you very much, Miss Duncan, Sammy said as Dink's mom pulled into the driveway on Woody Street. Dink climbed out of the car with his book bag clunking against his shoulders. Your room is next to mine, he told Sammy, leading the way upstairs. Dink took Sammy into the guest room. There was a bed, a dresser, and a braided rug on the floor. A reading lamp stood on the table next to the bed. Sammy looked at the room quietly. This is very nice, he said. Come on, I'll show you my room, Dink said. He and Sammy passed through the bathroom. On the other side was Dink's bedroom. As soon as Dink stepped into his room, Loretta began shrieking and running around in her cage. What is that? Sammy shouted, hiding behind Drink. Just my guinea pig, Dink said. Loretta is really friendly. You want to hold her? I am allergic to fur, Sammy said, peering into the cage. Don't let it out. Okay, I won't, Dink said. Dink, his mother called from downstairs. Are you and Sammy ready for a snack? Are you hungry? Dink asked Sammy. Sammy wrinkled his nose. What are we having? Dink pretended to think and said, mm, just the usual. Rat's ears on crackers. Sammy stared at Dink. You are joking. Yes, I'm joking. Dink said, come on downstairs. Dink's mother put a plate of peanut butter cookies and a quart of milk on the counter. Sammy inspected the cookies, then selected one. You're not allergic to cookies, are you? Dink asked. Sammy shook his head and took a small bite. The doorbell rang and Dink opened the door. Josh and Ruth Rose stood on, on the steps. Pal, Josh's basset hound, sat at their feet. We came to see if you and Sammy want to come out and play, Ruth Rose said. She had a purple Nerf football in her hand. The ball matched her purple jeans and sweatshirt. Hi guys, come on in, Dink said. Josh made a beeline for the plate of cookies. Pal padded along behind him. His long pink tongue hung out of his mouth. Sammy jumped into a chair. Keep it away, he yelled, I am allergic. Dink's mother put her hand on Sammy's shoulder. It's okay, Sammy. Josh, can Pal wait on the porch? Sure, Miss D. Come on, boy, Josh said as he led Pal out of the room. Help yourselves, kids, Dink's mom said, pouring four glasses of milk. Josh came back and grabbed two cookies. Why are you wearing your bathrobe, he asked Sammy. It is what we wear in my country, Sammy said, sipping his milk. I think it's beautiful, Ruth Ann. Ruth Rose said. I wish I had one. The doorbell rang again. This time it was Joan Clinker, Sammy's tutor. She had come in a taxi with Sammy's suitcase. Dink helped the driver carry them into the hallway. Hi, Sammy, she said. How do you like the house? There are animals here, Sammy said. I am allergic, you know. I'm afraid we have a guinea pig, Dink's mother said. Yes, and I saw the dog on the porch, John Clinker said. I hope Sammy's allergies won't be too much trouble. Dink's mother smiled. I'm sure we'll make out fine, she said. Dink, why don't you take Sammy's luggage up to the room before you go out to play? May I come too? Joan Clinker asked. I'd like to look at the room where Sammy will stay. Do you mind? Not at all. Dink will show you the way. Dink and Josh lugged the suitcase up the stairs, then plopped them down on Sammy's bed. Ruth Rose followed with Sammy and his tutor right behind. Joan Clinker walked around the room. She inspected the windows and tested the locks. She rattled the handles on the doors to the bathroom and hallways. Do these doors have locks? She asked Dink. Um, yeah, but we never use them, he answered. 
Is there a night light? she asked. Dink pointed to a small blue light sticking from a wall socket. John Clinker nodded. I guess this will do, she said. Now, may I see Sammy's bathroom? Dink showed Joan the bathroom he and Sammy would share. The woman checked out everything in the bathroom, then peeked into Dink's room on the other side. Who sleeps in here? she asked. Me, Dink said. My parents' room is downstairs. Do they have their own bathroom down there? Joan asked. Dink nodded as they walked back to, into Sammy's room. Joan Clinker smiled at Dink. This will be perfect, she said. She patted Sammy on the head. I'll see you later, okay? Sammy looked at her nervously. Where are you going? To my hotel room, Joan said. But I'll come back after dinner for your French lesson. She took one more look around Sammy's room, then left. Do you play Nerf ball in your country? Ruth Rose asked Sammy. Sammy shook his head. What is Nerf? This, Josh said, tossing the foam ball to Sammy. It bounced off him and fell to the floor. Mm, do you want to change? Dink asked Sammy. Sammy stared at his suitcase. Your mother said she'd unpack for me, he said. She will, Dink said, but for now you can wear some of my stuff. Come on, and come on into my room. The four kids trooped through the bathroom and into Dunk's room. Loretta began running around her cage. Dink found a pair of sweatpants and a sweatshirt in his closet. These should fit, he told Sammy. Sammy looked at the clothes, but didn't take them from Dink. Who is going to dress me? He asked. Chapter 3